you hear yourself? No? No, I didn't hear
do I do that? Wait, yo, Frank. Yeah. How do I do it to where it's not the bubble? It's this. No, wait, look. Live from Syosset, it's Friday Night Hockey on the Long Island Sports Network, your home for Farmingdale State College Rams hockey. Jack Siskin on the call for LISN on behalf of the entire crew. Thank you for tuning in as the Farmingdale State College Rams take on the Fairfield Stags. Rams sitting at 16, four and one on the season. But they're only two, two and one. They're coming off a 4-4 tie against the Hofstra Pride last week on Saturday night after winning their first two matchups. In the first meeting between the Rams and the 4-5 and one Stags, Ian Riberich lit the lamp twice as the Rams took home a 5-3 win. Fairfield on a three-game heater. They're coming off a 10-5 win over Columbia University. Some lineup changes since that last meeting between these two clubs, though. Peter Abazis, he's out of the lineup. Injury. And for the Rams, there's a couple injuries. You have Matthew Heinsohn out of the lineup. You have, just double checking my notes here, apologies. You have Joseph Peratori out of the lineup with an injury. Nick Benchukwitz out of the lineup with an injury. And then you have Della Vecchia as a scratch after last week, as well as Ben Zlikowicz and George Kalber. On the other side for the Stags, Lucas Chaconis out of the lineup tonight. This is a scratch. But outside of that, and Chaconis has two goals, seven assists in nine, nine points, nine games. So he's a big piece for them not to have. But outside of that, their lineup is mainly intact. For the Rams, Brendan Dixon continues to lead the charge. He has, 20 po he has points in 20 of his team's last 21 contests. And he's leading the league in points, 62, and assists, 37. He's second in goals with 25th. He previously did, he previously had the league leading goals. That has since changed. On the other side for the Stags, Jack Hitchcock on a 10 game point streak has a point in every game this season. And Anthony DeFilio has a points in nine out of the team's last 10 games. Starting goaltenders for tonight's matchup, Jacob Watson will be right back between the pipes after starting in their first meeting. But on the other side for the Rams, they'll be going back to Brendan Whalen in net for tonight's matchup. And on the season, let's just take a look at both netminder stats so far th this year. Whalen having won all five of his starts this season has an 896 save percentage on the year, has a GAA of 3.4. Just double checking that. My apologies, also has a shutout on the season. On the other side, Watson, the lone goaltender for Fairfield on this trip. Through six games started, he's a 331 GAA and 880 save percentage, a 2 3 and 1 record. Stage has been set here in Syosset. We'll be right back after the playing of our very own national anthem. And then we'll have puck drop. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back.
And that was your very own national anthem. Bit of a crescendo there at the end. Took a bit to get the volume set up on that. Starting lineups, Jack Perot and my apologies, got mixed up my notes here for a second. Oh, Murphy starting on the blue line. McKenna, Purs, and Skirbo up front on the other side for the Farmingdale State College Rams. Nick D'Alessandro, Brendan Dixon, Marco Malandrucolo up front. Michael D'Alessandro and Louis Saccone on the back end. They saw off at center. And Purs wins it back. Looking up ice. Pass off the wall, deflected. Dixon resets. Puck with D'Alessandro. Trying to feed that across to Malandrucolo. Won't go. Dixon's going to pick that up. Looks to reset. Moves it back over to Saccone. Saccone's going to send that the length of the ice. We get an icing in our first stoppage of the game. Not necessarily the start. Rams were looking for that time. Club has been hurting since the loss of Peter Abazis. Face off in the defensive zone, one back by Dixon. Flipped up and out, just past stick of Peralt. And Murphy moves it up ice. Lead pass, Stags coming in, breakaway opportunity, shot! And that goes wide. Looking to reset in the slot. Rams can't get a shot off, or rather Stags can't get a shot off that time. Rams trying to get the clear. Haven't been able to yet. Peralt, Peralt knocking that one down. Pockets kept in, we get a whistle, hand pass. Max McKenna collecting that one. And both squads will now get a line change. Face off is one forward, but comes to Merviak, goes D to D. Bobby Lane carries it up ice. Chips it in on net. Watson settles it. Looks to send it up and around the wall. That one getting passed. Barazzi, it's kept it at the line, but Merviak's shot won't go. Staggs can't get the clear. It's kept in by Cross initially. It's now left the zone. Staggs with possession, looking to press. Chipped off the stick of Ferrazzi. And now heading the other way. Pulling up and then chipped in by Donald Pace as Poulin looks to get it out of the zone for the Stags. Makes a nice move to evade Cross. Looking for the lead man, can't find it. And then an errant pass comes to Ferrazzi. Chips it off the wall. And Joseph Scardino chips it in. Merviak goes D to D. Gets chip pass lane. Sent up the wall by Ferrazzi and a shot goes wide off the stick of Scardino. On the other side, it's going to Cross picks that up, chips it up and out of the zone. Stags send it right back in but it's kicked out by the boot of Pace. Scardino looks to reset. Big hit, no icing on the play. It's Merviak trying to set the tone early as that puck sent around to Ian Riverich. Under pressure, looks to chip it up the wall, turnover forced by the Stags. At the line now, shot deflected off the skates of Riverich, and Thomas Agavino will send it up the wall. Riverich settles it off the boot and chips it up the wall. Manzi trying to move it on forward. Turnover forced initially. Riverich gets it, enters off sides. Nice defensive play by... I believe that was 22 in red. Face off with the outside of the zone. That'll. It's been 23, my apologies. That would be Christopher Larkin if that's the case. Face off has been one back. Agadino goes D to D. Chipped in. Stag's looking to take over. They can't initially. Stag's still looking for the clear. Puck has been kept in. Along the left wing wall. Now coming out with it, Connor Cavallero. Agavino breaks that up, but Stags maintain possession. But Brian can't move it down the ice. It's sent on net. And now they'll look to turn and go. Roy Cook sending it up the wall. Kept in by Manzi, but he can't settle it. Chipped up the wall, pinching in his Agavino. He keeps it in the zone. Pass from behind the goal line will go. Siani now racing after the puck. 
evading pressure that time. Siani recently sent down from the Division I squad, had one goal in 13 games. Looks to make his mark at the D2 levels. That pass into cross comes to Jensen, who just chips it in around the wall. Fred Dillon on it, looks to reset. The left-hand side. Stags get the clear, but Saccone gets the puck. Chip it back up, under pressure, it's Tom Forty. Comes away with it, moves it across to Michael D'Alessandro. To Siani, chips it in. Beneath the goal line. Dillon picks it up. Turnover forced by Tom Forty. Pass to the front. Won't go. Nice chance there for Aiden Conlon, but now heading the other way, it's Kyle Dillon. He chips it in. Alessandro will chase. Benson makes a move beneath the goal line. Resets with the escape turn. Still pressured by Max McKenna. Sent up and out of the zone. Not enough on that for icing. It's been waved off. Looking to turn up ice now, it's Murphy. Carries it across the zone slot. That pass goes awry, intended for Jude Skirbo, and now resetting is Jack Peralt. Lead pass, finds his mark, and has poked off the stick nicely there. That was Purs who got it on the backhand, just couldn't settle it. Looking up ice now, Rams with possession. Knocked off the puck, though, by Skirbo, and now Bobby Lane will reset. Drops it off. When he picked up by Marco Malandrucolo. Pass is intercepted. Coming in now. The Stags missed their mark on the pass to the slot. Now heading in with speed on the four check. Play is broken up initially. Nicholas D'Alessandro on the four check that time as Dixon joins him, trying to force a turnover. They do with the pass to the slot. No one's home to the Rams. Heading up ice now. Cross ice feed. Filio trying to skate into it, turnover forced. Now it's chipped in by Milan Truclo. Nicholas D'Alessandro picks it up. Looking for Dixon in front, can't find him. Continues to circle, pulls back up on his backhand, under pressure. Moves it to Marco Milan Truclo. Looks to get it right back, that pass won't go. Stag's looking to press in transition. Heading up ice with speed, it's Bernardi. Cutting to the outside. Turnover forced by Agavino. He sends it up and around the wall. Kept in on the opposite side by the Stags. They maintain possession. And then turnover caused by a Fairfield player losing his footing or correction appears we're gonna get a call on that. Let's roll the replay on that. We're gonna see a Fairfield player down there. I'm not actually sure I saw the trip from our angle. Of course, our on ice officials do a great job here. There's a reason they're down here and we're up here. Having all the fun, they get the thankless job of making sure the game can actually keep going. So it's gonna be a power play for Fairfield. Their first of the game. Face off has been one back. Rams get the clear. Cross checking is the call against Marco Malandrucolo. And now the Stags look to reset. Lead pass from Poulin. Carried back by DeFilio. Trying to stretch the ice there. On a pass to Hitchcock. Stags two on one. Shot turned aside by Whalen. Rebound is loose in the slot. But the Rams can't get the clear. Resetting now. Pass across comes to Hitchcock. Quick puck movement here. Hitchcock with a shot that's deflected. Rebound won't go for Scardino. He has possession. Moves it up the wall. Comes to Poulin across. Hitchcock. Pass across. Shot. And that goes wide. Comes back to the point. Held in nicely there. Poke check, Manzi gets the clear, but not enough on that for icing. 50 seconds in to Stag's power play. And as Hitchcock resets with the puck, Rams have gotten a full change, and now he's behind his own net. As Tom Forty looks to press for the Rams. Peralt has chipped it in, comes around the wall. Purs is on it, on his backhand, works it back down low to DeFilio. Looking for a feed, can't find it. Ends up moving it back to Purs to Peralt. Back to Purs, shot, won't go on the one-timer. Couldn't get enough there. Filio's pass and slide, that's deflected. Shot, won't go on net. Second tip goes trickling wide to the crease. Rams looking for the clear. They won't get it initially. They get it on the second time, Zach comes all the way out to the slot. A nice play there. 
Lane heading to the bench. Less than 15 seconds remaining on the power play. Partial change for the Rams, but now heading up ice at Skirba. Moves it back up the wall, turnover. Riberich with it. Lex to skate, trying to cut in. Can't get the game in the zone. Penalty is now expired. Dixon with possession. Murphy chips it up, but not out of play at, on the poke check. Pass towards the net. Ends up in the skates of Malandrucolo. Now comes back to Dixon, pass across the slot. Second chance for Malandrucolo. Third chance, rebound stopped by Watson. Shot from the point. Deflected. Malandrucolo on the rebound, bounces over his stick. Head the other way now. It's Skirba, flipping it in. Deflected on the other side by Michael D'Alessandro. Trying to send it up the wall, turnover force. Battling for the puck now, DeFilio and D'Alessandro. Coming away with it. There's Koka, but that's been sent down. He needs the goal line. Rams have regained possession. Sent up the wall. Stag looking for a clear. They get, or for a keep. They get it initially, then a lead pass. Ends up being chipped in by Malandruccolo, who goes for the change. Dixon will pressure on the four check. Rams break that play up. Nine minutes gone by in the frame. As the Stags gain the zone. Looking for the shot. Won't go. Nice play there. Cross getting it up and out of the zone, but Poulin gets it right back in. Rams can't get the clear. Two-on-one opportunity. Cutting the inside. Whalen gets the cover. Not a ton on that shot. From Connor Cavallaro. Let's roll the replay on that. And you see here just an errant clearing attempt by the Rams who try to get it out with the second attempt, that's Agavino. And you can see here you have a defender caught flat-footed because of the turnover. And they're trying to get to the front of the net, but a nice back check there breaks that play up. Face off. Cross can't get the clear. Second opportunity goes. And the Stags make an errant pass. Gain the zone anyway, but don't gain possession. And then that's chip pass off the stick of Ferrazzi. No icing on the play. Poulin takes over behind his own net. Looks to work it back up the wall to Cavallaro. Knocked down by Pace. Ferrazzi on the four check. Gets it in deep. But a turnover force. Poulin had possession momentarily. Still forcing it free. Pace trying to get it back across. That pass won't go. Getting to work on the cycle. Pass to cross. His shot goes just wide. Picked up by Lane on the other side. Backhands it right back in. And now looking to clear. Scardino chips it up and out. Merviak looks to reset. His pass nearly broken up. Rams still can't gain the zone. That's sent in by the Stags. Dump and change. Merviak looking to move it up the wall. Turnover force. Hodgkins with the puck. Works it back down to Larkin. And now looking for the clear. Rams get it. Heading up ice. It's Jensen. Fires across. That won't go. Perrault with it now after the D to D pass from Murphy. Looking up ice. Finds Kyle Dillon who works it on along to Hodgkins. He wins the race to the puck. D'Alessandro recovers but can't get the clear there, just throwing it up the boards. And now the Rams look to reset. Looking to stretch the ice, Jensen gets the puck. Trying to find Manzi under pressure. Now he does. Manzi coming in. Fire shot. That's turned aside by Watson, who gets the cover. And we'll roll the replay here. And Jensen just kind of gets caught flat footed. He's looking for Manzi, but as Manzi cuts towards him, he takes away Jensen's time and space. And the six foot three Farmingdale forward elects to carry it in and waits for that pass to Manzi, who gets a nice shot off. Face off has been one back. Stags nearly forced a turnover off the draw. Now it comes to Murphy, looks to reset to Peralt as it comes up the wall, but Siani keeps it initially. Second chance won't go. Saccone with the keep. Third opportunity comes up the wall. Peralt with it. And that play's broken up by Saccone. Rams have to check up. They have now as Dylan looks to reset. Peralt with the puck. Backhanded off the wall. That's going to be chipped in. No icing on the play of that chip in from Coca. Hitchcock on the four check. D'Alessandro coming away with it. That's Michael, the defenseman. 
Now Jackson Tom Forty comes down low. Turnover force, pass the slot, shot is turned aside by Whalen. Rebound attempt, and another stop. Rams netminder bailing his team out there. And this is just a defensive breakdown that you can't have happen. D'Alessandro with the puck. Losing it there, just... You have Tom Forty coming in, he's gonna... Actually forces that one free, but Bernardi forces a turnover as he looks to move it up the wall. Not the sequence the Rams are looking for. Dixon ties up the draw. Malandrucolo carries it forward at the line. Can't get the clear initially. Dixon gets it out now. Malandrucolo chips it in. D'Alessandro is right behind him looking for the pass. Now he'll have to chase. Puck comes up the wall initially. Dixon looking for the keep. Can't get it. And heading the other way now. Stags with possession. Bernardi has it poked off a stick. Picked up. Shot from an off angle. That's gloved. Another good look for the Stags. And after a quick start for the Rams, seems like they've kind of lost their legs already. It was a two-bowl game last meeting between these two clubs. That shot from Defilio. Can't win the draw against Dixon that time. Attempted clear won't go. Bernardi working it down low. Rams force a turnover in the cycle. They send it up the boards that skips past the stick of Scardino. No icing on the play as he collects it beneath. Oh, my mistake. They did call icing on that one. Rams will get a fresh unit out up front. Purrs with Max McKenna. And I believe that is 17 in red. That would be Jude Skirba. Face off, tied up. The Rams come away with it initially. Turnover forced momentarily by the Stags. Now looking to head up ice. Skirbo forces not another turnover. Agavino pinching in, trying to chip it forward to Dixon. Still on the forecheck. And now the Stags look to turn and go the other way. Two on one now. Coming in. Pass across. Shot. And a save by Whalen. Rams will get a full change after that one. A defensive breakdown. Here as Agavino looks to move it forward to Dixon, and it's the right play on the forecheck. It just goes right past Dixon. Agavino's the first one to the puck, and now you got the Stags heading the other way, and Skirbo's gonna cut in here, and you have a defender who's sliding across and not playing the pass there, and that nearly led to a goal. Whalen shutting the door that time is another chance. Coming in, poked off the stick. Stags will maintain possession. Shot towards the net, poked aside by the paddle of Whalen. Lead pass comes towards the line. Delayed offsides now. Stags have to check up. Took a minute for Max McKenna to get that message. So he went on the forecheck four momentarily. Give and go between Ferrazzi and Pace won't go. Another missed opportunity in transition. Heading up ice, forced to the outside. Ends up being covered by Whalen. Gets poked at after the whistle, Rams. Unable to maintain possession so far in the second half of this first period. Purs, McKenna, and Skirba making quick work of the Rams in transition. Trying to win the faceoff back. Riverich pokes it forward, but it's kept in at the line by Trent Dillon. Second chance now, Saccone chips it up. Ends up with Riverich. Nice cross ice feed there. Coming in, Manzi drop pass. Jensen's shot turned aside. Rebound comes free. Worked up to the point. Shot deflected. Ends up on the opposite side. Jensen works to the point. Shot from Sakona is blocked by O'Brien. And now looking up ice, but the Rams looking to force a turnover. Tied up along the right wing wall. Manzi has the puck, but it's poked off his stick. Rams now have to reset. Puck comes to Jensen. Caught flat footed there. Bit of a scrum behind the play is. That's broken up by the official. Play will continue. Riverich moving across. Manzi recovering. Jensen calling for the pass. Doesn't get it. A big hit there from Coca. Heading up ice now with speed. They gain the zone. D'Alessandro shot turned aside. Rebound. Backhand. Second stop for Watson. Third stop. And we have a scrum after the whistle as D'Alessandro. Brushes off the headlock after that great play. Rams defender trying to make something happen, and he does here. He just cuts to the outside, fires that quick shot, 
Rebound comes free, gets the backhander for an off angle. Second chance, still not covered. And when he comes in there, get the little headlock. And it appears that Peralt will head to the box. We'll wait and see if there's any other penalties on the play. But if not, that'll be a Rams power play, their first of the period. Game deadlocked at zero here in Syosset. Only thing on the board so far on the score sheet, that is, is a couple penalties. Some good chances for the Stags that were turned aside by Whalen. A penalty by Malandrukolo. Well, the Rams seem to be picking up some momentum on the ki kill, but they've slowed down. You have Dixon and Skirba talk, discussing with officials now. The penalty has come off the board here in Sayas. A bit of, all right, it's back up. It's assessed the Jack Peralt, which was initially what we thought, and that's a big loss. That's your first pair defender right there, one half of that first unit with Owen Murphy. Looking to see if he's still on the ice for the kill. And it appears they'll be going with Poulin and Stardino. And Purs and Skirbo up front. So D'Alessandro goes to the box. It's going to be four on four. He's also been assessed the penalty for roughing. Perot also got roughing. Faceoff has been controlled, at least initially, by the Stags. They're looking for the clear. Dixon and Alessandro trying to get to work. They can't gain control initially. But now Dixon has it. Shot! Block there. Now Rams with the turn go. Dixon might have actually been looking for the pass there, but either way, went off at the fender skate. And now a chance in front. Shot saved by Whalen. The pad save. We get a whistle here. After that play, the net is off. Let's. Wow. Well, you know, there's just. Not a lot of room for error against a team like this. There's no room for error in AAU competition for the most part. And you just see here that defensive breakdown. Whalen has to extend the pad there. Now a shot from the point def nearly deflected by Defilio. Whalen gets the glove save off the draw. And you're not going to win many hockey games. If you keep turning over the puck the way the Rams have. Whalen's on his game. He's a tremendous goaltender. You just can't count on that as he gloves that one down. Another stoppage. Deja vu all over again in the dot. And, and, and the injury to Abazis has made a huge difference for, difference for this Rams squad. They're a different team with him in the lineup. And right now, they're still trying to find that next man up. Puck comes up, but not out of the zone. It's kept in there by Scardino. Comes around the wall. Hitchcock takes over momentarily. Chipped up, but not out this time by Lane. Second chance, and it'll go. We get a whistle now. Hand pass is the call. Did not see it initially. They took a few steps up ice before we got that call. Maybe that's just how long it took them to play the puck. Irregardless, faceoff comes all the way back down. Manzi takes over with Riverich. They've been good together as of late. Face off one to Ribrich. Does such a good job collecting those loose pucks off the draw, but now he's heading in one on one. Shot! And a save by Watson, trying to use Murphy as a screen there. He gets a good look, and you just see here, you know, face offs are so important. But in their last game against Hofstra, they were not winning draws, and, you know, Ribrich does a good job off the face off. You know, that's a 50 50 puck there. Riverich gets it off the draw again, this time resetting to Merviak, who looks to step in, fires a shot that goes well wide, picked up on the other side by Lane. Works it on down low. Pass comes back to Lane, that just skips past the stick. Merviak has to take over under pressure from Hitchcock. As Merviak's pass comes across. It's collected by Riverich. Gains the zone to Filio. Nearly forced it out. Officials deem the play as on sides, but Stags have possession. Rams get a partial change here as Agavino 
will take over in his own zone. Lead pass comes to Riverich. Stags in the middle of the change, but Riverich can't corral it on his backhand fast enough, and then that shot is stopped by the glove of Watson. A nice look from Riverich at the end of his ship. Rams picking up the pace here late in this first period. Four on four. Right now, Peralt and Michael D'Alessandro in the box. Face off tied up. Rams win the battle. Shot by Cross turned aside. Ferrazzi on the loose puck. Stags regain control. Looking to press up ice. Pool in with possession. Gains the zone. Tries to make a move. Forced to pull up. Pass to Skirba won't go. It's five on five now. As the puck comes up the wall. It's kept in by Scardino. Agavino will now take over for the Rams. Second chance. That's deflected. Bouncing puck. Skirba gets it. Backhand shot off the back of the net there. And now Agavino loses his stick there. Seemed to drop it. Looking for a call. Won't get it. Now a shot from the Stags. Won't go. Play will continue. Kurz with the puck. Works it on down low. Looking for the pass in the slot. That's deflected. Comes back up. Looking for the shot from the point. They elect to pass. Purrs from an off angle. And that goes off Agavino and into the netting. The Stags had a nice series of chances there. Just couldn't really get much on net. And what they did get, it was a close shot. But, you know, that, that's kind of a double-edged sword because you can take away your own time and space there. And it, to, to be quite frank, they couldn't get much on it. Get three defenders all over you right in front. And it's not necessarily always a recipe for success. It's Peralt's shot. Love save and a beauty from Whalen with the flare there. Face off in the defensive zone for Farmingdale. One back. Peralt had it there. And sent back down low by Cavalero. On the cycle, Rams looking to force a turnover. Puck is loose. Poked free. Riverich gets it. Now looks to press up ice. Pass intended for, Man for Jensen won't go. Stags get the zone exit. Nearly carried it back in now. Play is broken up there. Manzi looking for the lead man. Couldn't find Ferrazzi there. And then a second chance for the Stags. Play is broken up again by Riverich. He is all over the puck tonight. It's a cone going D to D now. Lead pass. Chipped in. Stags can't get the clear. Riverich on the loose puck. Passes it towards front. Tipped. Shot save. Rebound. And it's in. A goal for the Rams. Bouncing puck. They initially thought they had it there. But Manzi's going to be the one, I believe, who gets the credit for this. And you're going to see this here. That's an errant pass. Gets tipped under pressure. You get Riverich stepping into it. He makes the lead pass. First tip won't go. Second one, you still can't get to see quite see the puck. It looks like it's on the line there. And then you see Manzi put it in there. It might have gone in before that. Either way, it would be a goal for Manzi. But no definitive angle. All's well that ends well for the Rams. They're up 1-0. Face off one back, D to D, and cross ice. D'Alessandro gains his own, fires a shot that's turned aside. On the loose puck now, deflected as before it could reach the net. Another look for the Rams. Manzi with the goal, no assist credited there. Rams have it now, shot from an off angle, ends up in the skates of the defender, attempted clear, won't go. Lane keeps it in, chips it back down. Picked up by Nicholas D'Alessandro, knocked off the puck. Stags looking to turn and go, they can't. Now, Nicholas D'Alessandro, pass comes to Merviak. And an errant pass there, near turnover forced, and a nice keep on by Dixon on the back check. Malandrucolo looking to spring D'Alessandro, it's sent towards the front of the net, comes back to the corner. Malandrucolo back on it, keeping it in. Knocked down there by Poulin, looking for the clear. Kept in for now, comes to the point, shot from Lane. Ends up going wide, might have gotten deflected. Merviak sends it back down low. Rams sent it towards the net for a play is broken up. Sent up and right in to the Stags bench. A nice catch there actually by their assistant coach. Face off, Tom Forty versus DeFilio. Tied up, Tom Forty shot, turned aside by the paddle. Rebound comes free, but there's no one there for the Rams. 
It's Hitchcock resets, looking to turn up ice. Perrault puts it off the back of his net, lead pass, and that goes into the rafters as it was deflected. One goal game here in Sayas at 32.5 remaining in the first period. Both teams have not necessarily been trading chances, but trading possessions. Each team taking control for a few minutes at a time here as the faceoff has been wanting one back by the Sags. Peralt sends it around the wall. It's going to be kept in on the opposite side. Sent in. Rams of possession comes up. Agavino shot deflected. Not enough on that. Comes back around. Siani looking for the off angle shot. Goes off the back of the net there. 10 seconds now remaining. Murphy puts it off the wall. Looking to skate into it. Hitchcock. Agavino racing back. Hitchcock shot. Right in the bread basket. Whalen with the stop. Looked like a good chance there initially, but just can't get enough on it there. That's Agavino with the initial shot. He's not afraid to pinch. And you're going to see Hitchcock comes up the wall. He's taking the advantage of that. And the faceoff's been won back here in the defensive zone. Peralt looking for the shot. Won't get it on net before the end of the period. But if you're the Rams, I mean, that's that's the look you want Agavino to take. He's taken risks there. Yeah, it's gone the other way. But, but eventually, those are going to actually end up going, leading to scoring chances. Those will end up going in the net. They're going to have to find a way to cover for that a little bit but it's a worthwhile risk for that. So after one period, Rams lead by one. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back after intermission on the Long Island Sports Network. Don't forget to give us a follow at LI Sports Network on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter for all the latest game recaps, highlights, and analysis. We'll be right back.
Live from Syosset, start of second period action between your Farmingdale State College Rams and the Fairfield University Stags. Jack Siskin on the call for the Long Island Sports Network. On behalf of the entire crew here at Iceworks, I'd like to thank you for tuning in. And I'd like to remind you to follow the Long Island Sports Network on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter for all latest game recaps, highlights, and analysis. And don't forget to check out the LI Hockey website by the Long Island Sports Network. One goal in the first period. That was scored by Kevin Manzi. Both teams had 11 shots on net. We saw some solid goaltending from Jacob Watson. We saw some key saves from Brendan Whalen, who shut the door a couple times there when the Rams were, for lack of a better term, just in disarray. Team looking to get back in the win column. Their last five games have not gone how they would have hoped. They have multiple players out in the lineup. I mean, Heinsen, that's Matthew Heinsen, as well as Peter Abazis. And, you know, they, they, these aren't role players here. You know, Heinsen has 18 points in 14 games. Abazis at 15 and 13. You have Peritori out of the lineup. He's got 14 assists in 19 games as a defenseman. I mean, these are these are just key pieces. And you've seen some players start to step up here as the game has progressed. A team that wasn't happy with their 4-4 tie to the Hofstra Pride. All due respect to Pride fans out there. My parents went to law school there, but that's not a team that the Hop Farmingdale believes they should be tying. Faceoff has been won back by the Stags. Peralt goes D to D to Murphy. Resets. Peralt with the puck looking to turn and go up ice. Chipped in by Hitchcock, and now Michael D'Alessandro will turn, take, turn. Look to turn up ice, but you get a turn over there. Brendan Dixon reflects, chips it past. Bernardi, but can't get the clear. Bernardi with the puck beneath the goal line, looking to thread the needle. Pass is deflected. Dixon carries it up, and it ends up along the left wing wall for the Stags. Cutting in now. Filio can't, can't gain clear possession. Hitchcock takes over, moves it up to the point. Murphy can't get the shot off. Set back in. Sacone picks it up. Has possession. Finds Malandruplo, who tries to chip it the rest of the way. That ends up with Murphy, who goes D to D. Peralt with it, looking up ice tags in the middle of a change, and that's deflected out of play. And Stags looking to answer back. It was all even in terms of shots in the first period, 11 apiece, as we previously mentioned. And now your start of second period action. Rams can't afford to fall back into the bad habits we've seen over these past five games. Poulin goes across. Scardino sends it right back. Under pressure, turnover force. Cross with the puck. Under pressure from McKenna. Ends up in the slot. It's poked away by Watson. And now Staggs looked up ice. Pass intended for Purs. Wouldn't go. Lane steps into it. Backhanded up. And out of the zone, it's put back in, laid off sides, Stags checked up, puck comes to cross, who chips it. Well, it ends up pulling, trying to chip it in deep there as Stags now sent the rest of the way. No icing on the play as that was deflected. Rams can't get the clear. Both teams battling for possession. Shot from Purs, won't go on net. Might have been deflected there. Scardino with it now. Purs picks it back up. Under, and now under pressure. And the net comes down. Whalen just looking to pull a stick from under the net there as we get a bit of a scrum. I don't think that was necessarily intentional, but you, you know, I wish I could say we don't see that that often. We, we, we've seen it here this season as a player gets kind of shoved into the net. Whalen no, doesn't look any worse for the wear. His helmet hit the net mesh, and to be honest, Already in the butterfly. Gonna be all right there. So both teams will get the full change. We're gonna have one Rams player going to the penalty box right now. Does not appear there is a farming, or does not appear that there's a Fairfield player going to the box currently. Bit of 
going to see. So it's going to be a penalty assessed to Lane. He's heading to the box. That's a key loss for them. It's been a key cog on that blue line, especially in recent weeks. Face off is one. Comes to Peralt for the Stags. Walks in. Moves it on over. Hitchcock, shot. Deflected. Comes back to Peralt. Tries to reset. That pass goes awry. Beneath the goal line, DeFilio can't get that one. Sent out of the zone there. Rams get the clear. 20 seconds into the power play for the Stags. Nice clear there from D'Alessandro. Peralt's carrying it up ice. Picking up speed as he cuts across the red line. Makes a move and a nice check there. He's knocked off the puck. Pace loses the race. Comes to Murphy. Across to Peralt. Looks for the shot. Resets to Hitchcock. Looks to work it back, right back, and it's chipped up and out of the zone. Riverich in a race for the puck. Peralt has the lead. Riverich comes away with it. Pass. Manzi picks it up. Still under pressure. A minute remaining on the kill. Keeping the puck down low. Comes up and around the wall. And Pace actually had the angle on Bernardi there. Not sure exactly how that slipped under a stick. You're going to need to be stronger on the boards moving forward if you're the Rams. Peralt has it back. He's been the primary puck carrier on this power play as the Stags now look to turn and go the other way. To the slot. And they can't get the shot off. That was Murphy pinching in. Attempted clear won't go. That's kept in by Poulin. Second attempt, he's kept it in. Pass across, shot, and they score! And the Stags answer back on the power play. A one-timer from the back door. And that's just a defensive breakdown you can't have. Now you see the keep at the line by Poulin. He's gonna work it down low. That's, that's the filio right there. And you have the defender just sliding across before he's even made the pass. And you have to imagine Whalen will be a little bit frustrated with that. No netminder is going to show it on the ice. But just one of those unforced errors that becomes more common when you have guys out of the lineup. Pass across, won't go for the Stags. They've gained the zone. Puck comes up the wall. Merviak has it. Looks for the clear. Under pressure from two Stags there. And Fairfield came away with it, and now Whalen gets the cover as they put it off the back of the net. Late poke by O'Brien nearly leads to a scrub. Officials breaking that up. It's a 1-1 game here in Sayasa. That one-timer from Owen Murphy, assisted by Anthony DeFilio. The lone goal of the night for the Stags. Face off, tied up by Dixon, wins it back, sends it up, out of zone, race for the puck. Stags win it pretty cleanly. So it's gonna be icing, we're gonna head all the way back down, it'll be deja vu all over again in the draw. Rams, they lead their conference in penalty minutes, and it's not by a small margin, mind you. We'll get you that number after. We're at the next stop, if that is. Faceoff has been one lane. Had it, turnover forced. O'Brien shot towards the net, deflected off the skate of Murviak. Sent back up the wall by the Rams, looking for the clear. Poked forward, and now heading to the way. Dixon with Alessandro. Farmingdale enters. Dixon shot, and that's off the glove. Rebound comes free. Kept in the zone for now. D'Alessandro coughs it up, and now heading the other way. Murviak trying to Force turnover gets tied up there, poked in by Coca, and we get a whistle as the Rams gain possession. Appears they would be going back on the kill, and this has been an, an area that's been an issue for them all season long, and you can see on that play, not sure if we grabbed the replay of that, but Murviak just played the body. He didn't play the player at all. He's in the box now, I would presume for interference, but we'll wait on an official call. Kind of devolved into a shoving match there that really doesn't need to happen if you're the Rams. And this is a team that coming in tonight, they had 342 penalty minutes. They're, they're, they're outpacing Sacred Heart, who's second division in penalty minutes, by nearly 100, 98 to be precise. Attempt to clear off the draw, won't go. D'Alessandro can't gather it. Shot turnover to Filio. Shot goes off Whalen behind the net. Saccone 
Rings around the boards. That's going to go the length of the ice. Watson electing to stay in his crease. He's the lone goaltender on this trip for Fairfield. So I wouldn't expect to see him coming out of his net too often. As the Stags now head up ice, Murphy gives over on the pass to Defilio. Makes a nice move there, beating D'Alessandro. Has the puck beneath the goal line. Looks for the pass, comes to the point. Pace forces Peralt to move it to Hitchcock. Hitchcock works it down to the left wing half wall. Pass the slot, won't go. Shot attempt there was blocked, and now heading the other way, Hitchcock will have to pick it up. Reset in his own zone. Nearly a minute gone by on Stag's power play. As Bernardi takes a big hip check there from D'Alessandro, but he maintains possession. Turnover force there. Rams looking to press. Lead pass, Manzi looking to skate into it. Has possession. Pass towards the slot, won't go. Didn't really have an angle trying to force it through there for pace. Rams looking to force a turnover. Lane battling for it. And he comes away with it, heading the other way. Absorbs contact, there's a penalty on the play. The power play will come to an end for the Stags will wait to see on the call there. 31 seconds remaining on their power play, but that'll do it for Fairfield. Fairfield actually least in their conference penalty, and it's 81. There's a pretty big gap between the two clubs. So after the penalty to Murviak for interference, and the Bobby Lane cross check that led to the goal, Fairfield now heading back to the box. It's a tripping call going against Hitchcock. Face off, tied up by Dixon. Looking for support, doesn't get it. Stags nearly came away with possession. Dixon, great second effort there. But now he's getting caught in the skates. He's got a back check now, four on four, for the next 19 seconds. Alessandro tries to force a turnover the line. Can't secure the puck. Shot towards the net. Ends up hitting Skirba. Rebound attempt by Skirba. He's now down as he's been knocked off the puck. Literally and figuratively, he works his way back to his feet for jumping back in the play. And now it's a five on four, but a turnover. Purr's working it down low, pass towards the slot, comes to D'Alessandro. Looking to make the lead pass. It gets deflected two on one now. D'Alessandro with Ferrazzi, fires a shot, rebound is free, and it's covered by Watson. A great chance for the Rams. And we're gonna just take another quick look at that. and. You see that great second effort by Purs there, but it's just not going to be enough. And that's what happens when you're switching from four on four to a penalty kill is you have to be cognizant there. And Purs is a forward. He, there, there should be another farm, should be another Fairfield player back there, and they don't have it. And that nearly led to the second power play goal of the game, which would have been the first for the Rams. Murviak working it over to Dix, and that's on his backhand. And Dixon's pass, he was just trying to settle it there. Murviak under pressure. And turnover nearly forced by the Stags. You have to be aware if your teammate's a lefty or a righty. Dixon getting handcuffed on that pass. Then another errant pass up the wall. Heading the other way now. Stags had a chance. They have the puck. Shot won't go on net. A great second chance there for Kyle Dillon after a turnover forced by Christopher Larkin. Now the captain, Dixon, carries it across the line. Pass comes. To Ferrazzi, shot on net, turned aside, sent up the wall. Sacone's going to take over. Comes back to the point. Not a Dixon, his one timer just pass was off the mark. And he's got a heavy shot, Dixon. You want him in that spot, but if you can't find him and you're forcing that feed, it's just not going to go. Handing the zone now, it's cross, dropping off to D'Alessandro. Looking for the deflection there. That won't go. Tom Forty has the puck. Dying seconds of the power play. Lane walking in. Shot is blocked. Peralt looks for the clear. Won't get it. Penalties expire. Tom Forty keeps it at the line. Walks in. Works it down low. Shot from an off angle. Rebound is free, but Rams can't corral it. Comes back up the wall. Alessandro just chips it in. Looking for a deflection there. Jensen's going to pick it up. Tries to send it towards the net. But the pass is deflected. Comes back up the wall. Michael D'Alessandro fires a shot that's knocked down by Bernardi. Second attempt. And that shot by Tom Forty. Rebound is collected by him. He looked to find Jensen. Pass was deflected. Now the Stags look to turn and go the other way. Turnover forced. Sent back in. Delayed offsides. 
but the Rams have checked up. Jensen on the four check against Murphy, who resets to Peralt. Who then looks to spring Hitchcock. It gets deflected, ends up on that. Whalen with the cover. Some nice looks there for the Rams. Just couldn't capitalize. 11.09 remaining in the second stanza here in Syosset. Max McKenna in the dot against Dixon. Dixon gets the better of him that time. Under pressure now. Marco Mallinger below is 23 in white, if I'm not mistaken. Brother Michael, 10 in white. He's the defenseman on this shift. He's been getting into the lineup recently. Tyler Pullen with the puck. Looking to find Agavino, or looking to find Skirba. Agavino ends up with it. And now Stags reset. Puck comes up the wall. Purrs chips it up. Rams nearly forced a turnover, but Stags maintain possession. It's chipped in, knocked down by Malandruclo. And a shot from Max McKenna. Rebound comes to Purrs. That's blocked. And that's the danger of knocking down pucks in your own zone. Sometimes you don't get the bounce. Puck now heading the other way. Agavino was pinching. Dixon covered. Resets to Malandrucolo, who just sends it the length of the ice. That's nice, and we get a whistle. And Michael Malandrucolo, 10 and white, from this concert. New York, nine games this year, three assists. 2005 birthday. Faceoff has been won back by Dixon. And as the Rams get it clear, turnover force, delayed offside. Dixon has to check up. And now a whistle as a Fairfield player down. Now getting to his feet. That's 20 in red. That is Nick Kokop. Officials discussing what happened afterwards with the whistle. It's 10 minutes. Kokal will head off the ice. Under his own power, does not look fully comfortable. A little bit, little bit gingerly on that right leg. And whenever there's a stoppage required, a stoppage for an injured player, even if the player isn't necessarily banged up, they do have to leave the ice. Heading the other way, chipped in. By Sachs, Whalen sends it around the wall. Kept in by Fairfield, comes to Saccone, chips it up, bouncing puck, can't be settled, comes to the line, shot into the opposite corner. Sent up the wall, kept in for now by Dillon. Riverich battling with Kyle Dillon. Now comes back to the point where it's poked out of the zone. On the four check is Siani. And now heading the other way, pass from the Stags, looking to find Garrett Hodgkins there. Couldn't connect, but now comes the point. Trent Dillon's shot goes wide. Siani picks it up. Under pressure, still has possession, makes a nice move escaping. Looks to chip it up, can't get it out of the zone. But now, da Michael D'Alessandro breaking up the opportunity from the Philly. Siani knocks him off the puck, but a shot off the back of the net by Hitchcock. Looking for a pass to the slot, can't find it. Comes all the way out to Peralt, who collected it off the wall, but his pass to the slot wouldn't go. Comes back to the point, Murphy fires a shot. That goes wide of the net, looking for a deflection there. And now the Rams, broken stick here. Conlon has to drop it. Went to play the puck with a broken stick, and it appears that will be the call. And Farmingdale bench gesturing to him to get in the box. To be quite frank, they don't seem too happy about it. And who can blame him? You break the stick there, you drop it. Can't play with a broken stick. Just an unforced error for the Rams. They're back on the kill. And, you know, they take a lot of penalties. You know, you don't have to worry about that as much when you're first in the standings. I mean, it's not ideal, but they're getting the results, and now they're in their latest stretch as Manzi looks for the clear. Can't get it. Murviak with a second chance. Now you're taking penalties, you're not winning. And when that happens, as you see that center length of the ice there, you're going to have to make a change. And 
it's, it's got to come now. Peralt has the puck, looks to move it up ice. Gains the line, chips it in. Going to be collected by Lane. His attempt to clear, not enough on it. Forces the turnover, trying to spring Manzi. Nice play by Jack Peralt. Spelled Perot, spelled like Gilbert Perot or Jacob Perot or Kate Perot. We did double check with their coaching staff. They did say Peralt. That ends up being wrong. My apologies, but that is what we were told. He's had a tremendous game for the Stags so far here tonight. Filio gaining the line. Looking to pass, finds Bernardi, but it's in his skates. Pass is deflected. D'Alessandro looking for his turnover. Skirba gets it back. Stags maintain possession. Purrs with the puck. Correction, that's Skirba, 17, not 72. Shot from the blue line, and it's gloved by Whalen. Another big save from the Rams. Netminder only credited with facing four shots this period. I believe that will change after this power play. They do update it as the period goes on, just not always immediate. Face off in the defensive zone, tied up. Malandru blow wins it back, a nice icing there. Rams get the clear, 30 seconds now remaining on the kill. Poulin with the puck, works it down, or rather up the wall to Skirbo, and then an errant pass by the Rams comes to Purs, looking for the pass to the slot, forced to pull up, moves to Skirbo, he's in the left wing corner, comes back to Purs, and his pass deflected, picked up by D'Alessandro, rings it around the boards, less than 10 seconds, now five remaining on the power play for the Stags. They've gained the zone, but the man advantage is over as that pass from Scardino is deflected. Purrs works it back down low. Max McKenna his sh shoots it off the back of the net. And then it goes off pull and stick, but doesn't leave the zone initially. Second chance, third chance won't go for Malandruccolo. Poulin comes in, looking for the shot. Can't get it to go. Now a shot from Mc Max McKenna is deflected before it can even reach the net. Comes out to the point. Ends up in McKenna's skates. Dixon knocks him off the puck. Riverich. Looking up ice, gains the zone. Cutting in, shot deflected on the rebound. Sends it towards the slot. Bounces off the skate of Dixon. Great chance created by Riberich, and now Marco Malandruccolo gets the puck. Riberich has since headed to the bench. Malandruccolo actually skated into his lane looking for the pass, actually took himself out of the play with that one. Agavino sends it up the wall to him. Marco Malandruccolo, he can't collect it. Now comes free to Nicholas D'Alessandro. Makes his move, shot! Right in the breadbasket there for Jacob Watson. And you're not going to score a lot of goals shooting at the goaltender's chest, but for a Rams team that has spent a lot of time on the kill, both tonight and all season, harder to, it's easier to play with the puck, but then without it. But when you're on the kill that often, it, does take a toll on your star players. A lot of minutes for Dixon on the kill. Pass deflected, shot by Sienna, won't go. Made a couple nice plays in the past couple shifts. Only 13 games, one goal with the D1 club. Getting an opportunity to find his game. Get himself going offensively here in Syosset tonight. One forward by Dixon, he can't settle it. Now, Stags get the clear. Knocked off the stick of Kokoff. Battle on the wall. Rams come away with it. He's back up, sent in by Marco Malandruppolo. He's now pinching in on the rush. Comes up the wall, leaves the zone. Malandruppolo on the back check, breaking that up. Comes to Sienna, he makes a nice move there. Gains the zone, cutting in. Looks for the shot, can't find it. Pass towards the slot. Just a bit off target there, but the right look, and Dixon fires it off the back of the post from behind the goal line. Comes back up the wall. Alessandro with the initial clear. Sienna picks it up. Really coming on here as of late as he gets a shot towards, but not on the net. Collects the loose puck, looks to reset. Tries to drop it off. Agavino, not on the same page. It's one of those plays where 
some of it just comes down to getting enough minutes together. Down low, battle Sienna. Comes away with it yet again. Now he's tied up by Koka. He left the ice early. Here's the player who appeared injured now. Not saying that he wasn't injured, but he's well enough to return to the ice. Merviak, D to D to Lane, looking for the cross ice pass, can't find it. Rams are in the middle of the change. Lane fires it in. Ferrazzi on the forecheck. Peralt with the puck. Cross ties him up. But Peralt comes away with it. Pace now enters the fray. As Peralt resets. Makes a nice move. Tries to poke it free. Pace keeps it. Ferrazzi, shot! Turned aside by Watson. Rebound comes free. Stags look to carry it to safety. It's kept in for now. Ferrazzi chipping that in. Trent Dillon resetting to Peralt. Moves up the wall to Kyle Dillon. He sends it out of the zone. Icing is the call, but the race just won by Bobby Lane. Great effort from Christopher Larkin on that one. Just couldn't erase the difference in starting position, to be quite frank. One goal apiece for each team. Rams taking the lead in the first period, and then late in the first period, that is, and then Stags tying it right back up in the opening minutes of the second frame. Now coming in, it's Larkin. D'Alessandro gets the bouncing puck. Rams have gotten the clear, set back in. As Dillon went for the hit and got worse for the wear that time. That sent the length of the ice. We get a whistle. We have a couple missed hits there for the Stags, which ended up leading to that icing. Or in some ways, we're responsible for trying to move the puck and dodge one player. Then you have to pick up speed. And when you're changing, when you're changing tempo as a skater, you're not necessarily able to just shift right back right away. Shot from an off angle, Whalen with the stop. Comes out to the point, Murphy keeps it in. On the opposite side for Hitchcock. So Cohen trying to force a turnover, can't. Bernardi sends it back up the boards. Peralt looking for the shot, ends up sending it right back in. Comes to Filio, pass towards the center. Won't go, collected in the slot, Barazzi there. Flipping it up and out, racing ahead, it's cross in a race with Murphy. Murphy sends it up the wall. Cross kept it in initially. And now a D to D pass. Peralt gets the puck. Moves it up ice. Bernardi tried to split the defender. Ended up losing the puck. Got it back there, but Rams now send it up ice. Jensen, he'll win the race, so there's no icing on it, but he's now got to poke that one free. Comes up the wall. Pace takes over, but doesn't get enough on the puck. Now Riberich comes in to rescue it. He's back up the wall, shot, rebound. That was deflected by Jensen coming in late with the screen, trying to break that play up. Watson with a strong stop. And, and, and it's a nice move to try to screen the goaltender, but he's already in position by the point that Jensen actually enters that, whether he's just going for the rebound or not. He steps in a split second before that. There's a chance that gets deflected or the goaltender just can't see it. Riverich keeps it under pressure. Three stags on him before he works it back to the point. Now Andrukula with the keep initially. Second chance, can't hold the line. Chips it back in. Rams have checked up, but stags now have possession. Comes out of the zone, purrs, chips the rest of the way. No icing on the play, or nope. Initially it appeared that they were gonna whistle that down. But instead, Rams will get the icing. They'll get a partial change. Agadino and Malandruclo heading to the bench. Manzi, seeing a lot of time here tonight, well earned. Wins the draw there. Jensen trying to work it down low. Lead pass comes to Riverich after a failed stags clear. Pass for an off angle. Jensen can't get to the rebound. Second chance, a big hit there, but Stags get the clear. Merviak wins the race to the puck. Stick lift at the line. And now heading the other way. 
dropped off by Manzi. Chipped up ice, a minute remaining in the period as Max McKenna bouncing puck there. Couldn't be settled and now it's picked up by Tyler Poulin. Makes the lead pass, but not to anyone in particular as the Rams now take over. Lane with the puck, he's been forced behind his own net, bounces out off the wall, turnover, Skirba, shot deflected. Bad defensive breakdown for the Rams there. They've sent it up and out of the zone. Racing after it now, Jensen. Tied up by Purs. Someone arm him there, does not have a stick as the Rams now gain the zone. Manzi with it, pass to Jensen, shot, and he scores! James Jensen! Puts the Rams back up by one. And this starts with that pass across from Lane. You get the zone entry here, and Jensen just makes a beeline for the net. You get the drop pass, Manzi finds him. Forehand, backhand. What a goal for Jensen. Rams up by one. Face off one back. D to D, Lane, pass is deflected. Peralt with it now. Behind his own net, looks to carry it up ice. Makes a nice move there to evade two four checkers, gains his own shot, deflected wide off the stick. Rebound attempt won't go. D'Alessandro settles it for Dixon, looking for the shot. Farmingdale bench was yelling at him to shoot it. Didn't like the angle he had. Time ran out. Just looking to find his rhythm here tonight. He's had chances, just hasn't worked out so far. So after two, it's a 2-1 lead for the Farmingdale State College Rams. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after the second intermission on the Long Island Sports Network.
I do see that actually. I think I think it's good in the so I might have so it's it's only it's only uh, uh, the, the, so the basis is basically like in a world like this world uh the world is all the tracks and then the people who are like so like it's a, so like really the guy who's undead can't die. So like so like so like so like, so like, so like, so like, so like he's constantly generating like what is something like one of his main abilities? No, basically slice off the string and then you can have this. I'm very Like, uh, 
And third period action about to get underway here in Cy Yossin, a 2-1 game between your Farmingdale State College Rams and the Fairfield University Stags. Stags on a three-game heater entering tonight's matchup, looking to keep that streak alive. And for the Rams, coming off a stretch of 2-2-1 two, two and one hockey, coming off a tie against the Hofstra Pride, their cross-island rival, though, to be frank, and Hofstra's a LISM partner. They're not normally winning those games. They're looking to get back in the win column. They came off a loss against Stony Brook that weekend. It was a winless weekend. Something of a rarity for this program at any level as they've found tremendous success in the past few years. In their first meeting of the season, Rams won by two. Ian Riverich with two goals in that one. And as we check the Statistics at the start of this period. Just going to check that updated shot count as they updated it between. Ten shots for Farmingdale, six against. Fairfield with the six, of course. Whalen standing tall in his net, 16 of 17. One goal against. On the other side for Watson. He's given up just two goals on 21 shots against. Face off at center. Dixon in the dot versus DeFilio. And DeFilio wins that one back. Peralt goes D to D. The lead pass to Bernardi. Gains the line. DeFilio did not start the game, did not start the second period, if I'm not mistaken. His line's out now. Pass to DeFilio. Shot turned aside by Whalen. Net is off. Change in strategy for the Stags after the Max McKenna line started the last two. Shifts that recentering Zachary Purs and Jacob Skirba. Defilio versus Dixon. Defilio wins it again. Hitchcock with it. Shot towards the net. That was broken up, flipped up, but not out of the zone. Turnover forced, at least momentarily, by the Stags. Puck is along the right wing wall. It's chipped up and out of the zone. And we get a whistle. Face off, coming back into Rams territory. That puck went out of play momentarily. That's all it took. Defensive zone draw, McKenna versus Dixon. 28 seconds in what could potentially be the final frame of play. Stags winning all the puck battles to start this one out. Peralt pinching in to keep Puck in Farmingdale territory, but Dixon forces the turnover. Purs gets it right back. Lane can't settle it. McKenna loses it now. Chipped up and out of the zone. Malandrucolo against Murphy. He sends it to the far wall. Picked up by Purs. His pass goes through the stick of Peralt. And now Dixon gains the line. Fires a shot right in the breadbasket of Watson. You don't see a lot of goals go right through the goaltender's numbers, but we've seen 
a lot of shots right into the chest here tonight from the Rams, a bit uncharacteristic from a team that, to borrow a term from America's pastime, likes to paint the corners. Face off has been one back, Riverich. Merviak sends it right back. Poked off his stick, Merviak tries to keep it up the line, a big hit. Buck leaves the zone, racing after it, McKenna. Sends up and down the ice, skips into the zone. And sent out by the Stags, turnover forced. Stags get it right back that time. Scardino sending it up ice, McKenna chips it past Lane. Under pressure, Merviak. Entering the fray, moves it up to Riverich. He can't get the clear, bouncing puck there. Second attempt, back handed out of the zone. Riverich gets it, gains the line, drops it off. Jensen coming in, fires a shot. That's just wide, had a stick. Not necessarily lifted, but they came down on top as he tried to shoot, and that one is deflected up, but not out of play. And then Poulin looks to get it out of the zone. Rams can't get the keep, but now it comes to Jensen. He's flying now, and we get a whistle for offsides. Manzi mistiming that one as Jensen made the move at the line. And he's came out late in the second period, firing all cylinders, got the goal off the assist from Manzi. Manzi has two points on the night that time, though. Time is so critical on those plays. You have to know, have to be aware of where the puck is, have to keep one foot on the line. Rams couldn't do that. And now Agavino forced a turnover in his own line, chips it up for Ozzy. For all, nice hand-eye coordination, knocks that one down, enters the zone, three on two. Shot blocker to side, rebound comes free, cross picks it up. Looks to press, comes to pace. Drops it off, shot from cross, deflected, rebound is free. Pace couldn't get to a cross, racing after it. Forces a turnover. Icing waved off after Agavino loses his footing. Whalen comes out of his net, gets the clear. Peralt has the puck. Chips it back in, delayed off sides on the play. Stags have checked up. Pass to Agavino. Comes out of the zone now. Barazzi with it. Nice look there, cross gains the line. Looking for the pass, the pace, that won't go. Pace couldn't get a whiff of it there. Now under pressure, Barazzi and Cross on the four check. Doing a nice job here. And too much perimeter play for the Rams for most of this game, but you're not getting that from Cross and Ferrazzi. Hodgkins chips it in, Rams chip it out, comes up the wall. Peralt tries to let it skip past him, trying to draw an icing. Officials don't fall for that one. And now he's forced to reset beneath his own goal line. He dates Cross the escape turn, but Cross ends up deflecting that pass. Now, Puck has left his own. Manzi forced the turnover. Sienna out now. He's involved in that play. Now, pass towards the center. Shot! Turned aside by Whalen. Rebound comes free. Manzi backhands it out of the zone. Way too far ahead of Sienna that time. And now, enters on the four check. Manzi, getting too, not just have to be more physical there. Have to. Angle the defender off, and the Rams let them gain the zone that time. Tom Forty looking for the clear, can't get it. And now heading up ice with speed. Takes a couple whacks as Michael D'Alessandro has his stick knocked out of his hand. As the sag send it up and out of the zone. Manzi breaks up the play. Merviak is going to have to pick that one up. D'Alessandro still getting back. Tom Forty covering for him, but a turnover by the Rams in their own zone. Tom Forty gets it back. Looks to chip it up and out to Sienna. Pass is intercepted by Dillon, sent back in. Rams haven't checked up, Stags haven't checked up yet. The laid off sides is avoided narrowly and now heading the other way. Rams gain the zone, turnover forced by DeFilio. Lead pass, Hitchcock angled off the puck and Merviak can't hold the line. Sienna covering for him there and Merviak now on the four check. Sienna broke up the play initially. DeFilio now heading the other way. Dixon angles him off but Tom Forty goes down to the ice. Inexplicably, that is. Now a line's been knocked down <laughs> by the play. He's back up, and Rams looking to get the clear. Kept in by Trent Dillon. Knocked back down. Dixon flips it up, but not out of the zone. And now it comes around the wall. Merviak against Hitchcock. Hitchcock won the race. Merviak forces it free. Merviak chips that one out. Sienna racing after it against Dillon. 
Dillon looking for the hit, ducks it, but can't get to the puck. Now Dixon knocks him off the puck. DeFilio across, puck leaves the zone. Agavino back, poking Bernardi off the puck, racing back. Gets called for the hold there. He'll touch up first, Rams will go on the kill, just a penalty where you gotta keep your feet moving. Move your feet, not the stick. We saw that time. Right as rain, clear as day, Agavino. Just that half second as Ryan Bernardi looked to turn the corner, and he held him up. And, and is it a bad penalty necessarily? No, if you can't win the race, you have to take it. It's better than a goal, but you have to think that he could have won that race. Pace lets up that time, Peralt will get it. Agavino in the box, Rams on the kill. Peralt nearly turned it over. Pace couldn't collect it that time. Just skip, went right past him. Manzi trying to force a turnover. Buck ends up with McKenna beneath the goal line, gets tied up, sent up and out of the zone. Peralt has to chase. He's played big minutes here tonight. As he drops it off to McKenna, maybe those minutes are starting to pay toll on him because you wouldn't have seen that play from him in the first two periods. Pass across, deflected off the boot, Skirba, but the Rams can't turn and go the other way, just inexplicably letting the Stags run all over the ice. Turnover, Pace loses the puck. Another stick set flying, and Stags now gain the line, Peralt with it, and honestly, Saw some calls from the crowd for a penalty. I, I, I didn't see a penalty on either. Just have to be strong in the board battles for the Rams. Pass towards the front. It's deflected. Goes into the netting. Whalen nearly gets knocked into his own net by D'Alessandro there. We get a whistle. And as both teams now go for the chains, Riverich in the dot, taking some shifts at center now. Malandrucolo lining up on the wing. And the draw is won cleanly by the Stags. Done very well for themselves in the draw here in the third period. That shot deflected, net is off. They say the pipe is the goaltender's best friend. Sometimes that's true when the net comes off as well as Rams just cannot get into rhythm here on the kill. They had a strong kill in the first period. They gave up one in the second. They found the rhythm again on it. At the end of the period now, it just seems like they've taken their foot off the gas a little bit. Injury bug hurts, but has to be a next man up mentality. Hitchcock threads the needle there. Shot, and they score. And you can see it coming from a mile away. That's just, that's two power play goals. And you see it here, they reset. You have two, three players puck watching there. You have, a def, you have a forward on the back door. And that's deflected because you also don't have someone watching the front of the net. Maybe they're not terribly out of position. Like, it, it, it's correctable, it looks correctable, but just no reaction, for lack of a better term. Dixon now has the puck, looking to turn the tide here. Pass towards the slot is deflected. Escapes pressure there, but now Stags get the clear. Lane pulls up, flips it up ice. And that goes out of play. Official gesturing all the way down as that one went out of play, but. I believe that actually went off. I, I initially, I thought that went off a player or off an official and out of play. Regardless, it's a defensive zone draw for the Rams. They saw this from one back. Stags with a shot from the slot. Won't go. Another golden goal opportunity. 
maybe not necessarily hold and pull, but another opportunity for the Stags nonetheless. And they're not winning the draws. They're not winning the race to the puck. And that's just too easy of a win for O'Brien. He's going to find a wide open, uncovered Nick Koka in the slot. And that's, that, that's a good save by Whalen. He's given them every chance to win this game, and yet they're tied. Flipped up, but not out of the zone. Rams shot. Rams are actually leading in shots, but maybe not in shot quality. Been flipped up and out of the zone here. Comes to Murphy. Looks to reset up the wall. Finds Cavallero, who gives it right back. Moves it on for Coca. He loses control. He pressures Sacone now. Puck comes up the wall. Will give and go. And Pace can't collect in the skates. Now gaining a line. Ferrazzi makes his move, loses the puck. Tenacious play on the four check to get it back, but nobody home to collect that pass in the slot. Now it's chipped in by Dillon. Comes around the wall. Sacone on the four check. And it ends up with Stags forcing into the opposite corner. Larkin on the four check. He's been strong in the boards. Puck comes free. And it's picked up by the Rams. Lead pass. Settled by Cross. His shot deflected by the stick of Peralt. Picked up by Poulin. Looks to turn up ice. Makes the pass to Larkin. Cross ice feed. Not enough on that for icing, though. Sacone sends it to Manzi. Flexed it off the wall. Pass comes across to Jensen. He's coming in all alone. Riverich joins him. Shot from Jensen. He scores! James Jensen puts his team back up by one. And this is a nice play here. Manzi to Jensen yet again. And you see the defender tries to intercept that pass. That's Joseph Scardino. And that's the right read if the guy you're trying to angle off the puck isn't six foot three, 216 pounds. You're not gonna angle him off the puck there. You know, the Rams power forward, gotta know your personnel. You're, you're, you're not knocking him off the puck there. Riberich has it now off the draw. That's Jensen's 10th and 11th of the season. He's got 16 points in 21 games, but when you watch him, it seems like he should have more, to be honest. Heading up ice now. Purr is trying to find, I believe that was, uh, my apologies, Skirba wouldn't go. Now Jensen gets it back, looking for the hat trick. Tries to drop it off to Riberich, who get, got caught sleeping a little bit there, <laughs> somewhat uncharacteristically. Works it back down to Jensen, who tipped it to Manzi. His shot couldn't get a lot on it, but a decent look nonetheless. And now three on two heading the other way. Play is broken up by Agavino. Puck is loose in the slot. Comes down below the goal line. Michael D'Alessandro comes away with it. Lead pass finds Riberich. Gains the line. Pass across won't go. Ends up hitting Peralt. Correction, that's Murphy, 13. In the skate and then a pass from Jensen to Dixon. They grew up together playing for the Long Island Edge, but it wouldn't go that time. Around the outside, pass towards the front, ends up in the skate of Whalen, not in the net. We get a stoppage. Well, Pipe is the goaltender's best friend. And, you know, we've seen the net come off its moorings a couple times on both sides. We saw the net fall down on him. That time gets caught between the skate and the pipe, a save for Whalen. Comes up the wall, sent back down by Hitchcock. Bernardi on the other side against Agavino. Chipped up and out of the zone by Malandruclo. Nicholas D'Alessandro racing after it. Wins the race, coming in, two on one. Cuts in shot, and it's in! Is it, Klein makes the gesture afterwards that it's a good goal, I believe. I would, I, I, I would think. But it seems like it's going to be a defensive zone draw. We're going to roll the replay here again. These replays, they're for the enjoyment of our viewers. It's great to get a look at it. Officials on the ice cannot use it. Yeah, and, and that's, that's it. Unfortunately, on ice, official can't get a clear look at it. Again, we're just having fun up here. They're the ones who have to do all the thankless work as that wraparound won't go for D'Alessandro. 
Shot attempt won't go. Coming up the ice, poke check by Merviak, but he misses. The puck as it skips over his stick, that is. Bit of an odd play there, just ends up going his, up his stick like a ramp. And that sentence in netting. Sometimes that's just how, as a defender, when you're going for that poke check, you really gotta be careful about the angle. You don't normally see it go that way. But that time, whatever reason, whatever little detail it was that how he attacked that puck along the wall, nearly got behind him. It's a three, two lead for the Rams. Face off has been one back shot by Cross, won't go on net. Tom Forty's backhand paddled aside. Two goals from James Jensen here tonight. Comes up the wall, shot from Lane, rebound, won't go. Collected by the Stags, they look to turn up ice. Gaining the line, Kokon separated from the puck. Merviak rings it up the boards. Rams racing to poke it out, it's kept in initially. Puck is free, Siani. Moves it to Tom Forty, pass comes across, slap shot. Couldn't get a lot on that, paddle to side, Tom Forty tied up. Looking for a call, won't get it. Pass across, deflected. Rebound is free, paddle to side. Merviak pinches. Forces the turnover, but doesn't actually collect the puck. Siani's gonna carry this up, one on five. Cutting into the outside. Cutting in then to the outside. Looking for the wraparound. Still looking for the pass to the slot. That saucer can't be batted out of the air, not entirely sure. But the goal is there, but a change by the Stacks. Coming in its lane, to the outside. Looking for the pass. Can't connect with Riberich. Both players now on the four check. Lane knocked off. Lane couldn't get the puck. Riberich made the pass to the slot. Couldn't find Manzi. Ends up in Lane skates. And now a two on one opportunity. Coming in, Max McKenna. And a nice play there. Separated from the puck by Merviak. Heading the other way now. Riberich couldn't get through that time. Heading the other way now. Murphy yet again, both teams trading possessions. Is that shot knocked down by Well? And the rare stand up save for the former Ward Melville Patriot grew up here on Long Island. Spent some time here with the Royals. A lot of Long Island natives on this roster, of course. get nice in there. Base off down low. This time it's one. Jensen chipping it up and out. Comes in. Fires a shot. That's turned aside by the paddle of Watson. And now heading the other way, Purs just chips it in. Turnover forced. Heading in now. Riberich knocked off the puck. Sent up and out of the zone. Race for the puck, and it's won by D'Alessandro, who gets a couple shoves from Purs there. Trying to spring the hanger there, did not work. Face off one, coming in now, Hitchcock shot, blocker to side. Puck comes around the opposite wall. 
Rams in transition. Gaining the zone. Chips the outside, nice turnover force. And a lead pass comes to Hitchcock. Comes in one-on-one, -on -one, beats the defender. Cuts back in, looking for the shot. Draws a penalty, shot is blocked. Shot from the slot, they score! Another defensive breakdown from the Rams. And another goal for the Stats. At this point, the only question Rams fans can be asking themselves is, will James Jensen score another? Because it, it's the same mistake time and time again. And, and you hate to say that as a, as a broadcaster, you know. To be quite honest, they're the ones who pay me, but there's no other way to describe it right now. And it, it'll still be a kill for the Rams. They ice it there on the kill for the next two minutes after a penalty that's going against Arthur Murviak. Another Stags goal, Rams trying to avoid another game without a win. One loss, one tie last weekend. Peralt gets it at the line. Looking for a shot. Goes wide through traffic. And, and then an attempt to clear hits the official. The official's part of the field of play, no matter how much everyone sometimes wishes they weren't. And now Pace has a chance. Looking to press. Peralt gets back, though. Pace cutting back in. Shot! Turned aside by Watson. Got it's a nice move there. You would have liked to see him win that race with straight line speed. You would have liked to see him get more on that shot. It, it's a step in the right direction, though. Shot from the opposite dot, that won't go. Comes around the wall. They resets the point, shot from Poulin, that goes wide. Lane, backhands that one into the netting. 50 seconds remaining on the power play. Two goals this period for the Stags. Alex DeFilio from Jack Hitchcock, Joseph Scardino from Jack Hitchcock, and DeFilio actually has an assist on the All Murphy goal from the second period as well. Face off has been won back. Pass comes down. Looking for the cross ice feed. Comes behind the net. A little give and go there with Trent Dillon. And Skirba. Puck comes around the opposite wall. Max McKenna. Leaves it for Skirbo. They both are behind the net now. D'Alessandro forces him to the outside. The pass to the point intercepted, but no turnover force. Now they do. Racing up ice, it's Riverich. Coming out of his net, it's Watson. Pokes it free. Puck is down. It's loose. A golden opportunity. Rams can't capitalize. Heading the other way now. Forced to pull up. Poulin under pressure. Five seconds less than that now remaining on the kill. And now it's going to be five on five as Riberich nearly forced a turnover against McKenna there. Picks up speed, takes the hit from D'Alessandro, maintains possession. Shot. Love but not grasped by Whale. And rebound comes free. Dixon pokes that one to safety. Now looks to carry up ice under pressure from Purs, who knocks him off the puck. Picks it on the forecheck now as the puck comes, skipping past the thick of Jude Skirbo. Saccone will collect it before it reaches the goal line. Sends it around the wall. Siani gets a stick on it. That's going to go the rest of the way. Icing is the call. Face off in the defensive zone draw. One back. Shot from the point. Won't go. Rebound. Or rather, Puck comes around the wall. Coco, turnover force. D'Alessandro has it. Try to make something happen with Siani. They've taken Malandrucolo off that line. Dixon now skating with Siani. D'Alessandro has had some better results in transition, but that time the pass won't go. Coco makes the lead pass. 2 on 1. Shot! And a save by Whalen. Rebound is free. And there's a. Wow! And they punch the goalie, Whalen, with the tackle, a scrum breaks out. And I'm gonna be honest, if you hit the goalie there, look, we are very proud of how objective we remain. You do not go in, skate in behind a goaltender, stand there, 
and then hit him because the goaltender tries to move you out of the crease. That's just improper conduct. And Siani, the D1 call up, throwing an extra punch there. That might cost him. Not a smart play from him. And he's had a strong game down the stretch. And look, there's no fighting in AAU hockey. I take no pleasure in calling that. I do not under any circumstances want to see a goaltender get hit, though. You, you don't want to see anybody get hit, but a, a goaltender? The most sacred position in hockey? For, I mean, you, you can't do that. It's a 3-3 game now. Whalen stood on his head. You move in behind him in his crease. I mean, that's just not a fan of that. Not a fan of that. And it's been a chippy game. You don't hit the goalie. You never hit the goalie. You don't touch the goalie. You don't look in his direction the wrong way. There's two penalties going against the Stags. There's one going against the Rams. That was just taken off the board. All of them have now been taken off the board. So we're just going to wait for the officials to sort this out because this is a bit confusing, for lack of a better term. Massive scrum. Whalen with going after a guy for punching him in the back of the head. And, you know, he really... Look, I'm never going to endorse tackling someone, but... <laughs> When, when you get punched in the back of the head as a goalie, I'm not actually sure I've ever seen a player hit a goalie before. I'll probably have to go back. Before my broadcasting days, to say the least. So, and now, and now Richardson has to get ready, too. Because he doesn't know if he's going in. He's got his helmet on on the bench now. And that's not necessarily a game. This is not a game you want to switch your goaltender 222 left. And again, not endorsing tackling. Just not a fan of anybody entering the goaltender's crease. You're not allowed to enter the goaltender's crease. You should just never do it. But that's not how it went this time. Yeah, and then now as Whalen's at the bench, officials still huddled. And we get an extended stoppage here, which... ...isn't necessarily ideal for anyone. And... For Whalen, I, I don't think I've ever, I, I've never seen that from him. And to be quite honest, I mean, full disclosure, I, I've known him since middle school. You know, I, I've never seen that from him. He doesn't like when someone gets in his crease. I'll tell you that much. Played against him in high school, does not like it. I have never seen him tackle someone. You know, he tends to stay pretty locked in during a game. Officials still trying to sort this one out. Checking the scorer's booth here <laughs> for a penalty. We don't have any up on game sheets. We're getting a five minute major is gonna go against Siani. That is the first penalty on the board. We don't see yet, we, I, I don't see a penalty going against the Stags yet. And they have two players in the box, which makes that a little bit <laughs> Again, it's a difficult job for an official, especially when a game breaks out into a brawl like this. But you, you, the goalie position is sacred. I'll, I'll leave it at that. You don't hit the goalie. You never hit the goalie. You can't hit the goalie. You shouldn't hit anyone. But if you're going to choose anyone to hit on the ice, don't hit the goalie. What are we doing here? Come on. And the Rams roster four goalies. If Whalen has to leave, I wonder if they can just see Justin DeSero down there. Maybe they can just get him dressed up, sit on the bench as the e-bug. Yeah. 
right now, it's just a five minute major on the board. Assessed to the home team. There's two stags in the box, which makes this even more perplexing. Whalen talking to the official. He's upset because, well, he got punched in the back of the head. Not sure if the official had a good view of it. Again, you have the ability to see what happened on the broadcast. We have a clear view, sometimes, certain angles. But again, none of this is used in games. So right now, it's actually a power play. It says on our screen it's for Farmingdale. Oh, no, no, no. This is a Fairfield power play. So my apologies for that. We're working to get that corrected. I believe our board operator a bit shell-shocked by that revelation. <laughs> So now the Rams have to fend off the comeback attempt as two stags run into each other. Chance in transition, play is broken up. Now looking to head the other way, it's Peralt. Looking for a pass to the slot, play is broken up. Turnover forced by Hitchcock, have to be more diligent with the puck there. Defilio shot, turned aside, rebound is free. Whalen tracking that one well, but he doesn't have to make a second stop as the Rams get a clear. He's locked in now. It uh, if, if you get one past them, it's going to be on a second or third shot, in my opinion. Now, Stags gain the zone. Puck comes to Peralt. He whiffs on the shot. Second attempt blocked. Rebound is free. Defilio comes away with it. Moves it along the wall. Purrs looking for Peralt, and it's deflected off the skate. Heading up ice now. Coming in. Looking for the pass to River, it's just knocked off a stick. Boarding! Oh! I don't know if that's going to be the call, but just saw a player go head first into the boards. You never want to see that. And I shouldn't have jumped the gun on the call. You see Malin's Rucolo, he is in some serious discomfort here. And Purs is heading to the box. We've already seen two Rams players leave the game. They're on a. They're, they're currently on the kill after their goaltender got hit in the head. They're, on, they're serving, they have a five minute major. It's the only penalty on the board right now, even though there's two Rams in the box. I'm assuming it's an offsetting minor situation. And now you got Malandrucolo down. That's rough. And we're gonna go over the penalties here because we have the update from the box score. We had game misconduct to Bobby Lane. Game misconduct, Nicholas Ciani. Two minor penalties against Fairfield. Now Andrukolo is up now. And we're gonna have a, we're gonna have Purrs leaving the ice now. Skating off the ice under his own power. Definitely favoring one leg over the other, though. We'll hope he's okay. Five minute major going against Purs. That'll end his night. Four on four. Penalties are not offsetting. If this game goes to overtime, if neither team scores, it would be an eventual Rams power play if they do not commit another penalty. Lead pass comes free. Sacone works it across. Rams gain the line. Alessandro versus Poulin. Michael D'Alessandro gets the better from that time, has possession, works it down low to Dixon. Under pressure, DeFilio forces a turnover. Nicholas D'Alessandro gets it right back. Poulin forces yet another turnover. Neither team able to settle it. And then the Stags can't get the clear. D'Alessandro kicking it forward, coming in on the forehand. Shot goes wide. Rebound is free. Dixon will race after it. But Cohen wins the race, keeps it in initially. Second chance comes to Nicholas D'Alessandro. Puck never left the zone. Now it does, and we're going to get offsides there. They don't do them. 
Face off. One by Dixon. Enters on the backhand. Pass towards the slot. Won't go. Sent into the farm, or the Fairfield bench, that is. By Ryan Bernardi. A bit of friendly fire there. 7.8 seconds on the clock. And a game that seems destined to head to overtime. You have two players out of the box. That's Christopher Larkin and Connor Cavallero. For the Stags, D to D pass, shot. Turned aside, that's right in the bread basket. Two point nine remaining on the clock. Farmingdale in the offensive zone. A face off win by Dixon would give the puck to Sacone, and he'd have about two seconds to shoot. Face off one, and we're heading to overtime. Zachary Purrs out of the game. Play will remain at four on four for the start of overtime. 3.51 remaining on the penalty to Purrs. And then you have the 2.38 on the penalty to Siani. Both players are done. Face off, one back, three on three for the next five minutes. As Riverich gains his own puck, comes to Manzi. Flex it beneath the goal line, looking to find Riverich. Wouldn't go. So after a Donnie Brook late in the third frame, we're in overtime. Coming in, DeFilio shot, he scores! And the Stags get the win, 27 seconds into overtime. And that'll do it. Not the end the Rams wanted. Final score, 4-3. 27 seconds into overtime. The Rams will be back in action against Columbia University at 9.30 p.m. on Friday, January 19th. Final score in this one was 4-3 in favor of the fair field. University Stags, they move to 5-5-1 five, five, and one on the season. Rams move to, or drop rather, to 16-5-1. and one. Thank you so much for watching on the Long Island Sports Network. Don't forget to follow at LI Sports Network on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter for all these game news, recaps, and highlights. Good night.